everyone and welcome to my August favourites. I can't believe that we're at the end of August. I know YouTube a cliche, we always say this, but this month has just gone so fast. I kind of ended up um, looking at my calendar last night trying to kind of organise something and suddenly realised that it was like the 27th of August. Where has that gone? This month has just flown by. But I'm here today to share with you my favourite products during this month. And the first thing is a very, very unexciting thing, but it's something that really does deserve mention. And it is this hair um, bobble. I don't know what you call these. Some people call them hair ties. I've always called it a hair bobble. But um, these are these kind of rubberized bobbles. I'm not sure where I got these from. I'm sh they're kind of quite readily available because I've seen them in various places. But it's kind of got no metal on it and it's not made out of fabric, it's made out of rubber. And these hold their shape so amazingly well in your hair because if you've got hair like me where you've got a lot of it and it's quite thick, and especially when I wear it curly. I've noticed every favourites, I've always got my hair straight. I think I kind of end up being so tired towards the end of the month that having to not wash it seems like a good idea. But even when I wear it curly, to just kind of do a bun. I've stopped using the kind of um, donuts to do a bun because these just hold the bun in place so perfectly. And I'll never go back to using a regular hair bubble, not that I ever really did, but these are fantastic. So keep your eyes peeled for these. And I'll do makeup first because I've got kind of, I've kind of sectioned it out into categories. First thing I've been loving this month has been this BB cream, and this is the Estee Lauder Clear Difference BB cream. I fished this out a few weeks ago because I was kind of doing a little bit of prep for a video that I was doing about makeup for busy women, and I remembered I had this, started using it again, and I really like it. It's got really nice coverage for a BB cream. It looks really pretty on the skin, really natural. The tone's nice, and it's kind of like a nice holiday product, and I'm going on holiday in three weeks. So um, I'm very, very excited about that. But I would definitely recommend this if you like a BB cream with a little bit more a heavy of a heavy coverage. Then another kind of skin-related item is this one by Revlon. And this is the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. I've done a full kind of focus video on Revlon, which I'll link below, and I kind of do a little demo in this, but it's basically a liquid highlighter, and it looks really beautiful on tops of your cheekbones, and very, very kind of um, J-Lo glow type of thing, so I've been using this a lot this month. And then the next kind of skin base related thing is the Clarins Instant Concealer. And it says it smoothing, long lasting, revives tired eyes, and it really does do that. It's really, really great on your under eye area. I'm not wearing it today, I'm wearing the Maybelline Fit Me concealer today, but this is really, really, really great. And I've got it in shade number three, so it's more of a kind of tan shade. I'm in between now, but I've used this since I got it pretty much every day, and I love it. I did a full video about Karen's products as well. Then I've got two kind of eye products here. First one is what I'm wearing today, and this is the Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Liner. I've been really into liquid liner this month. I've kind of just been wearing it a lot. And the other product kind of goes with it, and this is the um, Natural Collection Eyeshadow in Milk Chocolate, which is just this kind of lovely matte pale brown shade. It is very much a milk chocolate shade, that's a perfect name. But I've been really going towards more of a matte eye this month, so I've done kind of quite a stark matte white or off-white all over the lid, quite a kind of taupey colour in the crease and then liquid liner. That's just the look I've been doing these past few weeks and I've been really liking it. I think it's because summer's kind of dwindling away and the kind of shimmery pretty eye is not something that I've kind of been going for. But when I go on holiday I'll kind of be going back to that look. But this is a nice kind of transitional eye and I've been just kind of doing a nice liquid line and really, really enjoying it and it's really easy to use. And then last but not lips, last, <laughs> last but not lips, last but not least, but it is going to be in the lip category, are these. And this is the Rimmel Apocalypse in the shade Luna, which is this kind of beautiful peachy colour. I've worn this quite a lot this month. I love the Rimmel Apocalypse. They're really cool. And then the next one is this, and I've worn this in videos recently, and every single time I wear it, people ask me what I'm wearing. And it's the new CID lip crayon, and it's a lip and cheek tint in the shade... What's this shade called? Rose Tint. And this actually came free with Cosmo magazine a few months ago. Not this month, I want to say it was the month before. And it's just this kind of lovely rosy shade, but for some reason it looks so beautiful on the lips. And every single time I wear it, people ask me what I'm wearing. So it's a really, really good, good colour and I've been enjoying this a lot. Then moving on to fragrance, and the fragrance that I have worn pretty much non-stop this month, even to bed, I wear fragrance to bed, um, is this one by Dolce & Gabbana, and this is Dulce. 
really pretty, kind of easy to wear, floral, light fragrance. I've done a video about my kind of top fragrances for the warmer months in um, on my channel, so I'll link that down below. But really pretty, light, delicate fragrance that I've been really, really enjoying, so love that. And then another kind of, this isn't body I suppose, but it's something I've been really enjoying, it's this cream by Lanolips, and it's the Antibacterial Hand Cream. Can we just take a moment to discuss the fact that why has no company ever done this before? This is genius. Why have we always been carrying around little anti-back hand gels when you could have been doing it with a cream? It's so much nicer. It smells really lovely. I've been carrying it around in my handbag every time. I still sometimes do like to use a kind of antibacterial wash up. My hands feel really sticky because the cream doesn't give you that kind of clean finish. But this is amazing. To be honest, I like everything from Lana Lips anyway. But um, really, really recommend this. If you kind of get one thing from this video, let it be this because it's great. And then for body, I've got quite a few kind of different products here. The first one's by Rome Therapy Associates and this is the Revive Body Gel. This is like a firming body gel and God knows I need firming right now. Like I said, I'm going on holiday. I'm going to be that annoying person that talks about the fact that they're going on holiday all the time until they do go on holiday. But this is really great. It kind of firms you up. It smells gorgeous. It's got that lovely lavendery strong aromatherapy scent and it really just helps to kind of tighten everything and make you look a little bit better and I've been all about those products this month which leads me on to the next one and this is by Balance Me and this is their Skin Brightening Exfoliating Body Polish. This is great because it smells gorgeous, it kind of smells like mint, it's very gritty so it can really get all the dead skin off, it smells um, gorgeous like I said and it also it's kind of a salt scrub rather than a sugar scrub, so it's a little bit more abrasive. It does sting your legs if you've just shaved, I will say that. But it's a very, very nice exfoliator. And then I've got two kind of, um, I suppose, lotions. The first one is this one by The Body Shop, and it's the Fijian Water Lotus Lotion. This is very much a summer lotion because it's very light and it's got a lovely scent. It's got a very light summery scent as well, but just nice to kind of pop on when you are um, running out the door and you want something in the morning that's not too heavy. And then the other thing that I've been using this month, and I've been using this all over my legs and arms when I've been going out, and it's the Nourish Toning Body Shimmer. And it's just kind of like a little bit of a cream that's got a little bit of sheen to it so it's got kind of a bit of a glisten to it gold toned and then once you rub it in it helps to kind of really illuminate the area and it just makes the area look really gorgeous and kind of glowy and jlo limbs type of thing so i've been really enjoying that and that will be coming on holiday with me because that'll look really nice on tanned skin so that's my top beauty favourites. Then I'm going to move on to a YouTuber favourite. And my YouTuber favourite of the past few months, and I keep trying to mention her, and I always forget, is Lisa Lisa D1. I know she needs no introduction. She's a YouTube veteran. She kind of has been here way before I started YouTube. And she makes amazing, amazing videos. They're always really long, so they're the type of videos that I like to watch while I'm doing something. But she's just amazing, and she's so gorgeous. And then my non-beauty favourite. First thing's a candle, because you've always got to have a candle favourite. This is Bath & Body Works French Lavender. I'm kind of halfway down it. Really, really nice. Nice kind of invigorating lavender scent. And it's hard to find kind of that straight up medicinal smelling lavender almost. And this is what that that is. And then I've also got a book that I have had. <laughs> I've had this book for a week. And I'm confident enough to mention it because I'm kind of more than halfway into it. And it is Gone Girl. I Instagrammed a photo of this last week saying that I couldn't wait to read it and some girl decided that it was a really good idea to ruin the ending for me, which I'm really, really annoyed about. I've kind of got an irrational anger in me about that because I literally posted a photo saying I was excited to read it and she just said plot twist and basically told me what the end was. I don't know why you would want to do that, like why would you want to ruin it to someone for someone who clearly hasn't read it before? don't know what that was about so I kind of went into it thinking oh great but it's amazing the film's coming out in October and I'm definitely definitely going to go and see the film as soon as it comes out Ben Affleck's in the film and I love everything he's in I just I'm, I love him 
but basically it's kind of a thriller about a man whose wife goes missing and he's the main suspect but there's a lot more to it than that it's written from kind of his perspective and her perspective in a short time frame beautifully beautifully written if I forgot to say it's by Gillian Flynn and yeah really 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 recommend this I think you will love it best book I've read in absolutely ages if you've got any other book recommendations let me know I want some kind of like fun nice easy reads but not too silly to take on holiday with me um, I've bought two I bought Revenge West Prada and I bought one called Larger Than Life which I did read years and years ago I remembered enjoying and I fancied rereading re that so I bought that on Amazon but I'd love to um, get any more book recommendations to pick up before I go on holiday so let me know if you've got any and I hope you'll have a fab fab September and I will see you all in my next video Bye.